So those that guitar then and Cam's mic are going into the main computer, the laptop as well, for a effects yeah. and, yep. and yep. mastering and such. Have you ever had any issues with latency doing it that way? Yep. It was just a case of getting something powerful enough to... So Yeah, it's basically balancing the power versus um, how, how low you set the latency mm. on it mm. and making sure you don't stuff it up. But we've had many a... Um, <laughs> what are we sitting on? Six millisecond now? Or three? We're on three, I think. Yeah. And that's um, the Motu? It's yeah, on the Motu. Mm. So can, with Bo, we've had problems before with it. Um, just being overloaded while we're yeah. playing live and <laughs> not just kind of like <laughs> figure out how to how to cut it back just to get you through and then go buy a new laptop mm. basically. <laughs> um, so having it on one computer is um, and then just everything going into that computer with um, external gear has um, has allowed us to do what we what we do, which is great because you don't have to buy more computers every time you need to upgrade. And we all know that's uh, you know not cheap. Um, yeah, some I guess some people might be sitting there going, "Why don't you use a desktop instead?" Um, and that's mainly because of portability. And a desktop, if you're taking flights up and down the country or overseas, is just not a practical thing at all. Whereas a laptop, you can take on the plane with you, put in the overhead hold, and you don't have to worry about it. You know, mm. so mm. it's a bit of a trade-off there because. Obviously, a desktop you can make a lot more powerful for cheaper, and um, yeah, it's just I guess it's a bit more convenient that way. But it's not when it comes to moving it around. Plus, you've got no battery backup as well. If if somebody trips a lead or something, you no know, power gets tripped mm -hmm. somewhere or something like that. You've, it's, you've got a mobile UPS, so it absorbs some of the. Um, so if you're getting power problems in the place, um, uh, PC power supplies seem to be. Pretty sensitive, sensitive to it, um, and UPS is uh, are actually pretty heavy. Uh, flight limits are I don't know, 32 kgs international, if you're lucky. Uh, 24, I think, international. And 20, 20 national, 32. Uh, no item was allowed to be over 32 kgs. Anyway, we pay excess baggage everywhere we go, <laughs> <laughs> and it's um, yeah. It, so yeah, I mean that that sort of brings the point of um, your sellability as well. Um, being able to get around the country and around to Australia and wherever else. Um, so you know, gear-wise, what are you down to at the moment once it's all packed up? Uh, too over, overweight. Um, mine's 31.9 kgs. It's under the limit of one single item by 100 grams. Minus your stand. Minus the stand. Um, <laughs> uh, Brent, no, Luke's is the next, isn't it? It's 31 or 30 point something. And then Brendan's is whatever. 25. Yeah. Um, it's minus stands. So mm. Sometimes so I try to get stands around, around the belt rather than... They're about 16 or 17 now, they all up. Uh, and a bungee yeah, cord. about five, <laughs> five to six each or something like that. Yeah. Um, so essentially, uh, we ended up getting row casing um, from Live Sound. Um, got them custom built. Uh, so you'll probably see on stage uh, these big sort of trays, these sort of row case tray things, um, so that holds everything in it and then you get a lid and you put it up on top and you just you know, lock it down and it's got casters on it so you take it off the, off the stand and just wheel it so it's like a uh, wheelie suitcase thing um, so it doubles as uh, the, the gear, you know, the frame that you actually use to hold everything as well as the uh, suitcase um, so yeah, uh, very long way around to explaining how to get down from two cars to, to one and a half cars, or, you know. <laughs> <We're still laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I, I guess one thing, being a being a computer base, there's a lot of concern for a lot of people, I guess, is being a computer base, is there is the occasional hiccup, the occasional crash. Have you ever had any major problems with that? How do you kind of test against it? Is it you yeah. Practice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just do run-throughs over and over and over, mm. and if it lasts five, six times with what you've currently got set up, then you're pretty safe. Yeah. But, um, we've had problems when we toured Australia uh, last year, I think it was. We had one of our shows. Um, we were we basically I, I, I'm not sure. I think we overloaded the bus on the, on the laptop. And no, it was the um, MIDI on that. 
in USB. Um, the no, number it, was, of... it was basically <laughs> too much disk usage <laughs> because of because of everybody just slamming out so much sound at once. It was just too much disk usage at the time. Anyway, it crashed. Over, over, overload the fast <laughs> uh, okay. so, it, it didn't. It didn't actually crash. It just um, the audio just started getting really mulched and, and um, stuttery. Yeah. Uh, for on our main outputs and. Um, at that point, it's a case of just stop everything, yeah. reboot, oh, okay. start again, and just um, yeah, just hope. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yeah, we made it. We made it again. through the rest of the well, I mean, we had little glitches here and there, but and nothing, mm. nothing actually crept out like that again. It was, um, so I think had to it revised the whole set for the next city. Yeah, I, th I, th I think it was actually something other people were complaining about in Ableton at the time as well. Um, they seem to have since fixed it because we're not having the same problems. Mm -hmm. um, which brings us to another point. Uh, we try to keep N minus one, which means um, so version eight's come out now. We'll always stay on a um, a patch, back a few. Um, that's stable. Everyone's saying, oh, you know, just stay on this. Um, so for live, it's uber important that you, know, you sort of stay back on something stable. You might not have that effect, or you might not have that blah blah. But you know, it's better than. Uh, dying halfway through. Um, uh, to that, I guess to that then as well. You're running on PCs and running XP. Yeah. Yep. 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 <coughs> Tried Windows 7. It doesn't work with a few drivers on things. <coughs> Just as well proven to be crap. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, XP's tried and proven, and it's it's a lot lighter on yeah on resources. You, you, you so. can cut that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've heard so many horror stories about people running Vista and, and using music and I've experienced a few, yeah. using music programs on Vista and yeah, <coughs> just you know, problems with it so I'm mm -hmm. just not even that keen to use Vista ever. Did you guys stuck to SP2 or are you on SP3 with Windows XP? Mm -hmm. SP3. Yeah. yeah that's, um, Windows 7 is uh, shaping up to be really good for audio. Uh, the way um, the core is written Within the uh, the kernel, sorry, uh, and the way memory usage is managed um, is is really good. Now um, we'll see it a bit later, but 64-bit versions of uh, proper 64-bit versions of software um, software is 64-bit at the moment, but mm. it's not uh, uh, addressing the new um, new ways that memory is managed and all the rest of it. And seven is quite exciting for all of us.